Welcome to Ocula, where we explore the fascinating world of history, geography, art, religion, and general knowledge. Today we will be talking about Michelangelo Buonarroti. Michelangelo Buonarroti, born on 1475, was one of the most prominent artists of the Italian Renaissance, and one of the greatest artists of all time. He was a painter, sculptor, architect, and poet, who had an enormous impact on the art and culture of his time and beyond. Michelangelo was a master of the human form, and his works are characterized by their intense emotional power, technical skill, and profound spirituality. In this article, we will explore Michelangelo's life, art, and legacy in more detail. Michelangelo was born in Capris, a small town in Tuscany, Italy, on March 6, 1475. His family was part of the Florentine nobility, and his father was a government administrator. From an early age, Michelangelo showed a talent for art, and he was encouraged to pursue his passion by his mother. At the age of 13, he became an apprentice to the painter Domenico Ghilando, where he learned the techniques of fresco painting. In 1494, Michelangelo moved to Florence, where he studied sculpture under the master sculptor Bertoldo de Giovanni, who had been a pupil of Donatello. During this time, Michelangelo also began studying anatomy, which would later become a central part of his artistic practice. He also developed an interest in the classical art of Greece and Rome, which would influence his style and subject matter throughout his career. Michelangelo's early works include a series of sculptures that he created for the Medici family, who were powerful patrons of the arts in Florence. These works include the Battle of the Centaurs, a relief sculpture that he created when he was just 16 years old, and the Madonna of the Stairs, a small relief sculpture that he created when he was 18. These works show Michelangelo's skill in carving marble, as well as his ability to convey intense emotion and drama. Michelangelo's most famous work is his sculpture of David, which he created between 1501 and 1504. The sculpture is a representation of the biblical hero David, who is shown with a slingshot in his hand, just before he slays the giant Goliath. The statue is 17 feet tall, and was originally placed outside the Palazzo Vecchio in Florence, where it became a symbol of the city's strength and independence. The statue is a masterpiece of Renaissance sculpture, and is notable for its sense of movement, its technical precision, and its emotional power. Michelangelo's David is not just a representation of the biblical hero, but a symbol of human dignity and strength in the face of adversity. In 1508, Michelangelo was commissioned by Pope Julius II to paint the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel in Rome. The project took four years to complete, and is one of the greatest achievements in the history of Western art. The ceiling is divided into nine panels, each of which depicts scenes from the Old Testament, including the creation of Adam, the fall of man, and the flood. The Sistine Chapel ceiling is notable for its technical mastery, as well as its bold composition and vibrant colors. Michelangelo's use of perspective and foreshortening created the illusion of three-dimensional space on a flat surface, and his depiction of the human form is both naturalistic and idealized. The ceiling is a testament to Michelangelo's skill as a painter, as well as his deep understanding of theology and philosophy. Michelangelo continued to create some of his most famous works in his later years, including the Last Judgment fresco on the altar wall of the Sistine Chapel. The Last Judgment depicts the second coming of Christ, and is notable for its depiction of the human body in extreme poses and emotional states. The fresco caused controversy when it was unveiled, due to its nudity and the depiction of prominent figures of the Catholic Church being cast into hell. In addition to his painting, Michelangelo also worked on several architectural projects, including the design of St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. He also created a number of sculptures, including the Moses sculpture for the tomb of Pope Julius II, which depicts the biblical prophet holding the Ten Commandments. Towards the end of his life, Michelangelo focused on poetry, writing sonnets and other works in both Italian and Latin. His poetry reflects his deep spirituality, and often deals with themes of mortality and the transience of life. Michelangelo's legacy is immense, and his influence can be seen in the work of countless artists who came after him. 
He was a master of the human form, and his works are characterized by the technical precision, emotional power, and spiritual depth. His use of light and shadow, perspective, and foreshortening revolutionized the art of painting and sculpture, and his innovations continue to be studied and admired by artists today. Michelangelo's influence can be seen in the work of many artists, including Raphael, Leonardo da Vinci, and Caravaggio. His influence on the development of Western art and culture is incalculable, and his works continue to inspire and move people today. Michelangelo Buonarroti was one of the most important and influential artists of the Italian Renaissance, and one of the greatest artists of all time. His works, including the David Sculpture, the Sistine Chapel ceiling, and the Last Judgment fresco, are celebrated for their technical precision, emotional power, and spiritual depth. Michelangelo's legacy continues to be felt in the art and culture of our time, and his contributions to Western art and culture will continue to be studied and admired for generations to come.